In the first video on this YouTube channel, um, what I did was I photographed a motorcycle as the subject against the Milky Way, against the stars in the background. And I did that with the iPhone 11 Pro, and it's quite a successful video. If you haven't seen it, I'll uh, link it up the top here and you can go and have a look after this one. But after that video, I had a few people ask me, how did you put light onto the motorcycle? And in that video, I used a little Honda CT110. It's an old Australian post, Australia Post bike. And it's a, it's a little bike that we use here on the farm. Um, it's red, it's not reflective, and it was a pretty easy bike to get into focus. Um, so in this video, we're going to answer those questions. We're going to answer how do we get the motorcycle in focus or the subject in focus, and how do we paint the light onto the subject? With this motorcycle, however, and this is a uh, Triumph Tiger 800 XRT, it's a 2018 model. Um, where we live here in Kahuna in North Central Victoria, we've got a lot of long straight roads, wide open country, and there's a lot of dirt as well, a lot of dirt roads. So this bike here I've taken all over the place, I've toured Tasmania, I've been up in New South Wales with it, been all over Victoria with it, um, and I've even touched into South Australia with it. Um, but uh, this is a this is a great bike for just touring up the miles here in Australia. Um, it eats up the miles, no worries at all on the bitumen, and it gets into the dirt pretty quickly as well. But this motorcycle will pose some problems when it comes to light painting. If you look on the sides here and on the front, there's a lot of reflective surfaces. So when we start photographing the, the sky, and this will apply to any single subject that's got a reflective surface, you need to be mindful of how much light we put onto it so that we keep the reflection of it down so we don't lose the subject of the Milky Way. So in this video we're going to talk about how to light the subject and we're going to talk about how to get the shot with the stars and the subject nicely in focus. Alright, let's get into it. G'day guys, Shane Austin here. On this channel here, we do a lot of mobile photography. I teach you how to take photos, especially in low light situations. We learn how to shoot the stars, do light painting, and we do a lot of editing tutorials as well. And now that COVID-19 restrictions have eased a fair bit, you can expect to see a lot more touring around this countryside that we have here in Australia. So every week we do two videos on a Monday and a Friday. So if you're into that sort of thing, hit the subscribe button down the bottom, hit the bell notification so you know when I do these things, and we'll get into this video right now. So to photograph a subject with the Milky Way that we want to light up, and keep in mind there's two ways that we can do uh, subjects with the Milky Way. We can either silhouette them against the night sky, or we can light them with uh, a torch. So we need a couple of things to do this. Uh, first thing we need is a subject, and tonight we're going to use this motorcycle here. Hopefully the clouds will all piss off and we'll have some nice clear skies. If not, we might see you in a few days. Um, but we're gonna need a few things. We're going to need uh, a subject, we're going to know, need to know when the Milky Way will be in the sky, and we did that just last week with uh, uh, how to plan for an astro photo shoot, and I'll link it up the top here. But essentially what you need to do is get yourself an app called PhotoPills. We'll use the augmented reality in night mode, and we will superimpose the Milky Way behind the subject so we know where it's going to sit. So this is how we do night AR mode with PhotoPills. We set up night AR mode, put the subject into the frame, turn the time, you'll see it up the top left hand corner there, what time we need to be here uh, when the Milky Way is going to be set right there. And I'm pretty happy with that. So that there, that's the time that we're going to come out tonight. All right, so that's how we set up the shot with photo pills. Now what we need to work out is other tools that we need. So we're going to use this tripod here. This is the very first tripod that I've ever owned. This is the old uh, Manfrotto tripod. It's about 10 years old. Tripods, when you buy them, uh, they're all about the weight that they carry, all right? That's, that's the most important thing, how much weight it can handle. So I bought this one to handle the weight of my Canon 5D with a 7200mm lens on it. So it's a pretty heavy duty sort of tripod. It folds up pretty small, but um, I've had it forever and a day, and I use it for, well, I use it for almost everything. Um, it's kind of been bastardized a bit. It's a, it's a bit of a mongrel of a tripod. It's, it's a Manfrotto tripod. It's a, a Suri ball head, and uh, what's that, a, a Lanzi. Um, mobile phone holder. So when we think about the weight of the tripod and what it needs to hold, it's only a mobile phone. They're tiny little things. Um, they weigh virtually nothing, so pretty much any tripod that you buy is going to do the job. So we need a tripod because the, the photo is going to take 30 seconds. You only need a torch. Um, the torch that we use, if it's a torch that can 
be adjusted in the brightness and in the intensity that it has, perfect. If it's not, go and get yourself some baking paper. That's what we call it here in Australia. Anyway, baking paper, you line a baking tray with it, put you know, like cookies and stuff on top of it, put it in the oven. Um, I think you might call it parchment paper, I might be wrong, but if you know what it's called in America, just put a comment down the bottom here because I can't remember. Um, and basically what you do with that is you diffuse the light from the torch. So you put some parchment paper or, or, or baking paper around the tip of the torch here and it will diffuse that light so it's not as harsh. And the reason we do that is because of all these reflective surfaces on the motorcycle, um, the light's not as intense. It's diffused before it hits the subject. So it'll work really well. Uh, and that's really it guys. We don't need anything else. So hopefully all these clouds will piss off and uh, we'll have a nice clear sky tonight and we'll shoot the uh, Milky Way with the bike. I'll see you at dark. Obviously, it's dark now, guys. So we've got the motorcycle still sitting where it was today. I've got the sun is gone, the clouds have gone. The Milky Way is sitting up nicely up there behind the motorcycle. It's a bloody clear night. We should get a ripper photo here tonight. What we're gonna do first is show you how we compose the photo it's pitch black there is not a light besides this video light there's no other lights around so we need to work out how we're going to make sure that the frame of the photo is going to encompass the motorcycle and the milky way so what we need to do is set the camera up on the tripod we shine a torch a more powerful torch so we can see it through the uh, phone of the subject and you'll see what i'm talking about here when we record it and i'll get into that now all right guys we've just set up the phone on the tripod now what we need to do is compose the photo. So we're going to use a torch, and the torch is going to light up the motorcycle. And we can see there on the screen, it's not quite in the center. So if we move the camera and the tripod so that we're happy with that composition, and I'm pretty happy with it right there. Now I can tell you right now that the Milky Way sits up behind there, uh, and we saw that today with the photo pills. So I'm happy with that composition. Let's get on to take this photo. So, to take this photo, we're going to touch on the stars there, touch the yellow five second up the top, and down the bottom here, you'll see it says auto five seconds. We'll scroll that all the way to the right-hand side. Now, because we're on a tripod and the camera, the stabilization sensors in the phone, it senses that it's on a tripod, we can go and take the photo. It'll take it to 30 seconds, and we can take a 30 second photo. Hit the start button. And off we go. We're not going to light the subject on this photo. We're just going to see where the Milky Way sits. And with any luck, because we've got the tripod so low, we should see that the motorcycle, the front, the handlebars, probably the windscreen, is going to be all silhouetted in the night sky. That's done there. It's processing it now. Let's have a look. And it is. I'm really happy with where that Milky Way, the galactic core is sitting up there behind the motorbike. So obviously what we're seeing there is the handlebars and the, the headlights, oh, the, sorry, the handlebars and the mirrors and stuff. So I think we can take another photo right now and we're going to paint and start. That should be all the light that we need on that one. It's probably 10 seconds to go. Seven, <clears throat> six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's have a look at this photo. Now, how good is that? That is bloody sensational. It's pretty well in focus. Stars are a little bit out of focus, but hey, I'm gonna live with that absolutely chuffed with that photo all right that's it guys that's how you do it all right let's get into a little bit of an edit so what i'm going to edit this photo with is adobe lightroom mobile i've imported the photo first thing we're going to do is go into the light I'm going to increase the contrast what i'm looking at here is it decreasing how bright the headlights and because it's a chromey looking front end on that motorcycle we want to bring that down a little bit so it doesn't detract from the whole photo so we're going to bring the highlights down a little bit. 
very small amount, happy with that. Uh, let's bring up the shadows so we might get some of the detail of the front end of the motorbike without taking too much of the highlight up. Yeah, I like that, I like that as well. We'll increase the blacks. See the blacks, what the blacks, increasing the blacks will do. Look at the um, sky behind the motorcycle there and you can see we're getting more detail in the core. So we'll increase it a little bit and that's pretty good right there. As far as the color goes, I usually try and keep my Milky Way photos a little bit cooler. So if you don't want it up like this, it looks just too orange and unnatural. But because we take these photos generally through winter, certainly here in Australia, it's colder. So I like to keep that colder. I tend to add a little bit of magenta to these photos. Um, increase the vibrance a little bit. No, I'm happy with that. I think that looks pretty cool. Let's look at the effects. We'll increase the clarity and we'll increase the dehazing. I like that. We're going to go to the selective tool and we'll add a selective tool, we'll paint it on. And I'm just gonna paint in that galactic core a little bit there. Zoom in a little bit. Take it up a little bit higher there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What I'm looking to do here is increase the temperature of the core and we're going to add some clarity to the core. And you can see there what it's doing, it's bringing out a lot of detail in that galactic core. Add a little bit of noise reduction, we'll hit the tick on that one, and we'll go across to detail. We're not gonna sharpen anything up in this because it's all pretty well in focus anyway, but we're certainly going to reduce some of the noise. There's a lot of digital noise that comes from the small sensor on the iPhone, can't help that, that's just the way it is. So we'll increase the noise reduction to around 20. I think that's pretty good. The last thing I like to do with these is go to the effects tab. We're looking for the vignette and we're going to incre increase, decrease the vignette so that it gets a little bit dark around uh, the corners of the photo, certainly around the bottom. Because I've shined the torch there, you can see there when you, when you increase or decrease the vignette or make it darker around the edges, um, it tends to add a little bit more drama to the photo. And that's pretty cool, I like that photo. And we've saved it. All right, that's that. Well guys, that's how you get everything nicely in focus when you're doing Milky Way photos with a subject in the foreground. Now, like I said earlier, you can two ways to do it. You can have a silhouette photo where you're silhouetting something against the night sky. And it certainly works if it's a very clear night and you've got no light pollution, it works really well. What I like to do most of all though is light painting a subject, using your torch light to light that subject up and when you've done it the way that I've just shown you how to do it things will tend to be in focus for you most of the time if it doesn't work the first time like I said just try it again and it will work for you all right guys that's it for today I hope you really enjoyed that if you did give me a like um, if you're not subscribed to my channel subscribe to the channel you've got two videos coming out every week on a Monday and a Friday most of it's to do with astrophotography with the phones, uh, but there's certainly plenty of other photography tutorials with mobile phones. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.